looking to the end of the year. Uh, defending champions, Toronto FC come in as favourites, according to the bookies. Then Seattle, NYC FC. Uh, Portland in at nines. Atlanta United at nine. Just let's take a look at the predictions uh, we asked you boys uh, before the start. Oh, oh great. What happened? What? Wow. wow. What's the matter? What's the matter? Right. Toronto is going to win then, Herc. Yeah, listen, it's about the system for me and Greg Benny, what he's done. Last season, we saw it didn't matter if it was Dravinga who was missing, Josie Alper, Michael Bradley, Victor Vasquez, whoever they implemented in that system, whether it was Mavinga, Eric, you know, Savaleta, uh, whoever it was, they made it work. They're such a good team. They find ways to grind out victories. They can play pretty. They can play ugly at times, which is necessary in Major League Soccer. They're a total package team for me. And uh, the dark horse. Uh -huh. Well, let's talk about Almiron, actually, first. Almiron, everyone's gone for him as MVP. Well, you saw the talent last year, and the only thing that held him back was injuries. If he's able to stay healthy, I think there is no question that he's going to become uh, a dominant player in this league if he isn't already. Now you add to that the fact that Ezequiel Barco is going to play alongside him, and you have Jose Martinez, and so it becomes a situation not only does he have options in terms of assists, but he's going to score his, own, his fair share of goals as well. And this is a team that is going to be offensive. They're going to score goals, and he's going to be in, right in the middle of it. So, yeah, it makes sense to pick him as the MVP. No surprise either. Dark Horse LA Galaxy, considering mm. your love for Ziggy. <laughs> I love Ziggy. Yeah, I know yeah. you do. W with a passion, I would say. Uh, but I make that pick simply because you could not be worse than the LA Galaxy were last year. And I, because I know Siggy, I understand that this guy will have this team ready to play. They'll grind out results. They'll compete right away. And they have competition built in right now directly with LAFC. The LA Galaxy cannot allow LAF LAFC to take over that city. And of course, you could add to the mix as well a certain Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Mm. Jose Mourinho admitting that this will probably be his last season at Manchester United. A lot of speculation that he could be going to the Galaxy. I'm seeing a lot of people uh, on Twitter saying you know, it's not retirement in the league anymore. People should stop calling it that. I don't think people have over the, la over the last few seasons, have they? Does Latin coming in hinder the league's progress or is it a necessary, necessary acquisition? Well, I think it'd be a necessary acquisition if he's healthy. He's a fabulous player who can produce, I think, 20-plus goals if healthy in Major League Soccer, especially with that LA Galaxy team. And the only reason I didn't consider that LA Galaxy team a dark horse is because, exactly, Siggy brings stability. The amount of weapons he has at his disposal. You bring in a Slatan Ibrahimovic on that team, I think they're a real contender. Slatan Ibrahimovic is one of the few names around the world that... I don't care if he goes against the trend of MLS. You bring him in because mm -hmm. it does put your league at a different level. It, it does expose the league to a whole different set of eyes that they didn't have before. Just because Slatan is walking the streets of Major League Soccer, that is important for MLS. It's also important that he is productive when he's here.